Oh, here we are. Where did you say your thing was again? Mr. Batia, I'm Ashley Williams. I served with your wife in the 212. I wanted to tell you how sorry I am. Gunnery Chief Williams. My wife spoke of you with great respect. Thank you. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Where can I find this, Mr. Bosker? He was in the expensive bar over there. Not yet. I'll be back when I have more to tell you. Thank you, Commander. Expensive bar. Is this a bar? What is this? We're moving towards an exclamation mark. That's a good sign. There, yeah, we go. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Batia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Um. Let's see. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Sweet. More XP. Okay. Now. Back outside. Who's this? So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. Why did you come to see me, Shepard? Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. And you're the first human Spectre. Get used to people knowing who you are. At least around here. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No. Just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. I see. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectre? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. And unlike the Spectres, we work within the bounds of the law. Hmm. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Spectres walk a slippery slope, Commander. Operate outside the law and it changes you. Look what happened to Saren. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. 
But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? No. But not all Spectres are like Saren. True. I hope that's something you'll take to heart, Shepard. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. You get experience for doing everything in this game. Ooh, an encryption. Screw it, Omni Gel. Not using my Omni Gel. I see. I just added a mission, I think. Okay, where's that guy? Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Samesh, I don't know if this helps, but your wife, Nirali, loved you very much. She missed your cooking, and she played recordings of you every night before she went to sleep. I know, Miss Williams, but thank you. It's nice to hear it again. Ashley has like some sort of a lazy eye going on. <laughs> okay. Let us see here. Journal. Speak to Zalton. Financial districts. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm in the embassy right now. So she's got to be around here somewhere. Citadel Tower. Financial. C-Sec. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. <laughs> what is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. I should be going now. Okay, have so... Have a pleasant day. We are at the embassies right now, so that guy has to be here somewhere. There we are. Oh, other room, other room. We're just raking in the XP, just raking it in. Holy, what the hell is that thing? 
Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? <laughs> what? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Yeah. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. The Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you were right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to from This guy is getting kind of annoying. Check my squad. Oh, what points do I have? Zero points. You have lots of things to do. Um, ba ba bum. Yeah. <laughs> Good. I like it. Okay, so that's done now. Oh, wait, no, I gotta report into the chick. Let's see. I think she was all the way down here.
somewhere. This gigantic place is like one big maze. I crossed a bridge at one point to get over there. Embassies. Citadel Tower. Embassies. I think it's over here. Please do not disturb the keepers. My bad. Let's see. We observing something? Oh, art doesn't normally do much for me, but that Blu-ray statue, I like. Okay. Uh oh. No. Uh oh. Glitched. This place is a little too perfect. You're hiding something. The fudge. Oh my god. Let's save. Can we do a load? Please work. Freaking stop. Can't move anywhere. Huh. Oh, thank God. Ha <laughs> Yes. All right. Maybe I'll check this. Uh, we're in the Citadel right now, right? I think, oh no, consort chambers, that's where I need to go. There we are. We're here. Charge! Problem solved. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. <laughs> I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words. An affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding. A wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Cheira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. Level up! Let's see here. Level 8. 
keep that charm going on. Store discount. Nice. Really could use more training on the assault on the uh, sniper deal. Increase this though. Eh. Yeah, I keep that hacking up. Okay. Gonna go back out here again. And then I am gonna take a quick pause because I gotta pee. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 